I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Hello people, like, share, and subscribe, and please enjoy the video. The last time we were doing a very long episode of South Park. And this one, I'm not sure, but I think I might be getting to the end. So this might, the word might, be the last episode. If not, um, please enjoy the video. Okay, where to go now, and let's go to here, then, okay, okay, back here. Okay, let's see. Alright. I think we go that way. After it loads. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Guess there's no people to fight. Haha, <laughs> funny. New kid, we're ready to start torturing the coon. We need your help. Come to Freedom Palace base. Where are you going? We have a date. <laughs> need to get somewhere fast, new kid. Oh, awesome. <laughs> See you, new kid. Okay. Okay, let's go in here. Then let's go to their secret hideout. Then we'll settle this. I'm going to mute my mic. You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the Coon. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? So, so what? I, I just have to watch you eat? Is that it? I'm, I'm not afraid. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the bad guy. See, it, it doesn't even phase me. Hey, I, I got an idea. Why don't we start looking for the new kid's parents? No, oh, fuck. Not, no, not even a little bit. I can gobble those parts up. <laughs> broccoli? I, I'm not afraid of broccoli. It gets a bad rap if you ask me. No, 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 no. No, those parts don't bother me at all. Hit him again. Oh, jeez. Well, I, I guess we're done here, huh? Someone reach around. 
around and get his knot. Oh, hey, come on. You don't really want to eat my puke, do you? Oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. Oh, wait, 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 you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, God, the cats. What cats? I just remembered. Connor. The fudge died my memory. He said something about making cats more powerful. Than, 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 yeah, that's it. He must He must want to genetically alter the cats. The genetics lab, Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, cats. sometimes seem like you're just blindly going from place to place without really knowing why? A person without spirituality is like a hooker without a john. Get to the pond. Find your religion. Where do you think you're going? Get back here, bitch! You're lost! You're roaming the world with no real purpose. At the pond, you will find meaning. You are nothing until you know what God means to you. I'll do all of that once, um, once I know I've done everything. Little kid, this is Call Girl. I'm still waiting for you at the park bathroom. Why do you resist finding your religion? It is the only thing holding you back. For the last time, go to Stark's Pond. A hero has to know what morals and ethics they follow. Go! The new kid's here. Come on, new kid. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. We signed up for the tour. Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree. We're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? 
Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. How long now? Still about six hours. Okay, cool. Time anomaly detected. This sure is gonna be exciting in six hours. Shut up, Scott. Ah! Did anybody bring any uh, snacks or anything? Yeah, we should have bought snacks. Oh, God, okay, how long now? Right around six hours still. Jesus, fuck. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending ass. <laughs> Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. The quickly. You see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you. Over by the gate. On the left side. Can't miss it. If you fuck... Hard into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fire the fan. Come on. I'll fire it up for you. Right now. Young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Timmy! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asses gorilla feeding. Try not to get your greasy paw prints all over everything. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. 
Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. God! God, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, freedom pals. Sorry, kids, but we're probably all going to die here. You okay, Mysterion? Watch out for their claws and butts. You got this, butthole. Butthole's really giving him shit. Time to DIY some justice. that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for human flesh it might have something to do with the ass adding process. No kid, I like the way you punch.
Nazi. It's uh, been a while since I've used these controls. Oh, shoot. Well, we'll look back at this and laugh if we live, which we won't. So, butthole! Single asses beat their many asses. It just doesn't add up. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. It's uh, been a while since I used these controls. Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> School is so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, don't you stupid. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's going to have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it, not it, not it, not it, not it, not it. Sorry, kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Arr, school is dumb. Ah, sixth grader! Your ass is awesome, dude. I put the stairs behind that portal door, but to open the door, you're gonna need power. The whole point of stairs is that to need electricity. Get that generator. 
powered up and the access to the stairs will open. Sun now, just keep heading west. on you guys is really therapeutic for me. You like that, Forthy? Got a lot more waiting for you in middle school. You can take it, Lord. We're gonna power drill these, whatever they are.
little fourthies? in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ooh, that's how we do it in the sixth grade, you little shit. I'll wipe my asses with you, Forties. Take that, Forty. School is for home uh, That's what you get for being alive around me. Ready for lift off. Dumbass.
That's it. He's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. New kid, thank God. You've got to stop him. He's out of his mind. Carmen, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. Sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Keen. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Keen friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Keen? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I join the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city. Blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! <laughs> it's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor! Oh no? I've got all the new kid's followers. Every last one of them is now following me! Gee, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Becky, Dr. Timothy, if you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. <laughs> God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. <laughs> this place has too much chaos, <laughs> yes? It's okay, Mosquito. Falling for that flight. Come here, little guy. And there we go.
domesticated animals have broken loose. Welp. <laughs> Looks like you've run into mutant sixth graders. Oh, and they look hungry. Don't get eaten. in case anything wanted to attack people from below. Seconds 
stupid single ass dumbass. Are you serious? about to get fixed. Who's it gonna be? What'd she say? Did she say how 
Nothing is their fault, like usual. I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! That's so unfair! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get mommy's arm! That should do it! Kiddo. Waiting for our organic DNA sample. 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 Organic DNA sample.
Organic DNA sample. What? Don't no. Take. It's no. me! Daddy! Uh, 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 sixth graders came out of nowhere! My legs are broken, sweetie. Mommy can't walk. You have to go into town and get help. Sweetheart, listen to me. They were about to cut off your father's head to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in his life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry! Waiting for our organic. What'd she say? Did she say how nothing is her fault, like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get mommy's arm! That should do it!
you did the right thing, sweetheart. Now get out of here and go get help! Organic DNA sample accepted. That wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're going to tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. Ah! You shut up, Coon. We need each other. Don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What have you done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, King? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's key because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? <laughs> Yeah. 
would probably be a good time to attack, kids. Show up my 
my tool set. I got this. And they're drills that shoot lasers. They're totally believable and cool. inside the ass that counts. Maybe now you have a new appreciation for what genetic engineering has to offer. You're now all free to exit right through the gift shop. Gift shop? Feel free to look around before enjoying the rest of your day. Perhaps you'd like to buy a I Survive Genetic Mutants t-shirt or purchase a photo of you enjoying the tour. Lots of great things to remember your visit. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. All right, we gotta go tell on Cartman. Ah, who do we tell? I don't know, what time is it? It's, oh shit, oh no! What is it, Mysterion? Dude, the new kid farted so big he made it next week. What? Check your phones, it's 10 days later. Oh great, the new kid farted us to next week. Damn it, he screwed us. Way to go, new kid. Cartman's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault. Come on, Freedom House, we have to stop him. This is Mysterion. I'm at the mayor's office now. You have to come see this. Oh, shit. How long was I asleep? Did I miss anything? Oh, all right, then. Peace out.
congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Mitch Connors, mayor. There's good the whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress. How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants. He's mayor. Look, up in the window. Over. We lost. But we can't lose. Face it, Kyle. Thanks to the new kid, Cartman is mayor, and there's no one left to help us. New kid. New kid, come in. Who's that? Pretty sure that's Morgan Freeman. New kid. There's been some kind of time shift anomaly. I can only assume it came from your ass. Come to the taco shop. We have to fix this. You heard the man! All Freedom Pals report to Freeman's Tacos now! Party in the evidence locker after we nab that vigilante. All right, the new kid's here. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. How do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He ordered us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? 